Hi, my name is Matthew, and I'm a rising senior at the King's Academy. This is my project, the General Stabilizer. So as you can see, I'm moving the base around, but this one point at the end stays balanced. So this works because there's an Arduino Nano inside controlling an accelerometer which communicates with the three servos on top to move in the opposite direction to keep that one point balance. The accelerometer, um, yeah, the, the accelerometer produces data and then it sends it to the servos. This one right here controls the pitch, which is the back and forth. This one behind controls the roll, which is the side. And down here is the lateral rotation, which is the rotation right here. So a few problems I ran into along the way when building this was mainly after my default project. I switched accelerometers to get this last servo in because my last accelerometer did not include the lateral rotation measurements. Um, so for the new accelerometer, there were there were not a lot of programs or libraries online that I could use for the gyro stabilizer. Um, what I wanted it to do was to read the uh, measurements accurately and communicate with the servos, but I only found one after two weeks of searching to be able to integrate one into my a program that would be able to work as I intend. Another problem that I ran into was the 3D printed parts. I used uh, a, a program called SketchUp to make my designs, and once I was finished with that, uh, I was about to print, but I was informed that my 3D parts would not be able to arrive in time, so I had to quickly make this cardboard model that slightly resembled the one I created online. Um, obviously, cardboard has its limitations. You cannot manipulate it as easily as an online program, and it cannot hold that much weight, so I couldn't actually put a camera on there. Through, the, through these experiences, I learned how to be flexible and to change according to the schedule and my plans, and I also learned how to program an accelerometer to be able to communicate with the servos, and I learned how to do 3D modeling. Um, for my next, uh, for my next modification or fix, I would like to make the uh, travel stabilizer move a bit smoother and be able to do a bit more, like have controls on it. Thank you. How did you develop your 3D model? Uh, 3D model, I used a program called SketchUp. But like, where do you take, where do you start and where do you end? Oh, I started, I looked up uh, what uh, camera gimbals were, like the small handheld ones. I took inspiration from those having these points on there. And then I did my own measurements for each servo and measured each arm to make sure that like it all fits. Um, why are the servos twitching? Oh, the servo's twitching because uh, it's reading, uh, it's taking the numbers directly from the accelerometer. It's not going through any filter. And that's what I want to do for my next step, is to probably find a filter or make a filter, so that it makes the numbers more smooth. Uh, can you tell me some uh, real-life applications of gimbals? Gimbals? gimbals. Uh, if you put a camera on there, it should give you a steady shot, no matter how much you move. After yeah, spending so much time modeling uh, the design on SketchUp, how hard was it to transfer over to actually do it on cardboard? On cardboard, it was pretty difficult, because cardboard, it's... It's a different type of material, and I had to cut each part out. Each part was pretty rough, and I couldn't be completely exact with what I really wanted. But you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, <Yeah. right. laughs>